You know, I think it'd be really cool if we could get some sort of like orbiting thing around Mars here, or at least Duna, that's what they call it. Cause I know Elon Musk is trying to send people to Mars or something like that, but I haven't even gotten a single thing in orbit yet. So why don't we try setting up a satellite around Earth so we could get like Wi-Fi going or something? Cause I don't even know if Kerbals have Wi-Fi. Thing is, I don't really know what a Wi-Fi satellite looks like, but a quick Google search will give me a few ideas. Like, a, ooh, this one looks kind of fun. Lots of dishes, big solar panels, a box. Okay, they all seem to follow the same thing. A satellite dish, shiny box, and solar panels. I can do that. So let's get us a shiny box. That is a very small box. Are they all this small, really? Seems like they'd be bigger than that. Although we could just stack a few like this, but they don't go ex together exactly on all sides. Let's find a different one. Uh, yeah, this one looks kind of fun. So let's see, we need a satellite dish and small, a deployable antenna. We don't really need to worry about deploying it, I would think. We just need a big one like this. Yeah. And then some solar panels, preferably two of them. Okay, they go together like that. How do they look when they're deployed? That is very small. Need something bigger. Like, uh, how about these? How do you look? Oh, that looks like a satellite. And then, is there really anything else? I don't think so. Maybe some more of these little doodads, like an antenna. And this thing does have a little bit of a reaction wheel, so it can or it can rotate itself in space. So that's good for us. Now, we just have to get it there. So we just put a little decoupler on there. And then maybe it can head the rocket like this? Mm, I don't know how safe that is. We should at least protect the satellite somewhat. So how about a fairing? This looks like a good idea. Building it up and then out like this and then another section coming up like that and closing it like that that looks pretty secure and now we get an adapter piece on here for medium things and i'm really not expecting this first one to do too much i just want to see how easy it is to get this thing into air so we can get some decouplers going this way because of air and then we strap boosters to them looking pretty good i mean i would think this would be able to get us at least into Earth's orbit with the satellite. Okay, everything's looking pretty good here. And we're okay. Yep, boosters like to do that. Thankfully, it's not blowing up though. And we're still getting plenty of thrust. Unfortunately, this thing is very heavy. We're already halfway done with the boosters and we're not even past the first layer of the atmosphere. I wouldn't think the satellite's causing all this weight. It's very small. So it's probably just these medium boosters trying to lift up this large tank in the middle. Okay, we're past the first layer of the atmosphere. That's good. Whoa. And they just decided to take off and steal my thruster with it. At least we can do something with the satellite. And fly. Fling it. It, uh, it didn't fling too good. Whoa. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't think the satellite's supposed to be the last thing going to space. And it's already falling back down. Well, uh, might as well just point it down that way. Because we can do that which is good. And because we're already here, I want to extend these solar panels because the sun is right there and they can appreciate that. Oh, it's causing it to spin. Whee! Oh, now it's flying way off course. Okay, so the boosters like to do something weird once we get past the first layer of the atmosphere. They didn't look very stable. So it might just be a matter of making these things more secure with good old fashioned struts. And I guess I should see where the center of mass is. Okay, and then center of thrust down there. Yeah, I figured. So hopefully this means that there's less chance for to spin uncontrollably once we begin to tilt it. Okay, that already looks a lot more secure. So then we launch it. That is so stable. A few struts really do the job. This might help with the rate of climb too because the thrusters are pointed straight down rather than out. I may not know a lot of things, but I can put two and two together sometimes. This is looking very good. Okay, we're there so we can begin to tilt. Not too much, but enough. Maybe a 45 is the way to go. Uh, just gotta get there. Looking good. I know the tutorial said which angle you should like tilt the rocket at, but I don't really know what it is. This could be it right here, actually. Okay, those thrusters are done, so we break those away. Don't break off my thruster. Quick boost away. Okay, we're good. We're clear. And now let's just head to prograde. Careful with it. Okay, let's look at our rate of climb here. This is looking very good. We're actually doing not too bad. And then, okay, let's just cut this for now. So where's Mars at? Over there. Let's get this thing in orbit first. So once we get up here, we have to start to burn towards apoapsis. That is if our rocket could turn. Are you not turning? Okay, now it's working on it. It's slowly working on it. I might need smaller reactionary thrusters on here. The good news is we're still pushing the orbit out, although it's no longer level with Earth. Earth 
where it's no longer level with the horizon. The equator, that's it. Where is my rocket going? You're supposed to be going pro grade. Maybe it just has a hard time turning if you're not at 100. Oh, yep, that's definitely it. Okay, there we go, there we go. This is a weird angle to orbit, but it still works. Although this isn't really a good angle for satellites either. This thing is very hard to control. I wonder if it's because of that tiny thruster right there. No, I wouldn't think so. It's slowly leveling up. Okay, and then it loses it, and then it gets it, and then it loses it. Man, big rockets are weird. Whoa, okay. Hold up, that's way too far out. So we can maybe start to turn this thing retrograde. No, not really. Okay, so Big Rocket needs more control. So what sort of options do we have for that? We have these things, but they're very small. So we have some reaction stabilizers here that all seem to do the same thing. Well, this one does more. Is this all we need? So then I imagine the best place to put these is around center of mass, which is a little offset because of the uh, boosters. So let, okay, right in the middle. So we can get a few of these right around here, I think would do the trick. I'm not entirely sure how these things are supposed to work after the fact or how long they burn, but it should be enough. But I also don't want these things turning right away with the boosters because they handle that job fine. So we can turn these off. Okay, and they all turn off. That's good. And then is there anything else? All right, so let's see how this one does. And it could just be me, but it feels like the climb is somehow slower this time around. Halfway through, halfway up the layer. It feels like we had much more boost left to spare after last time. 7,000 feet and tilt. Not feet, meters. Just a harsh correction right here. That's doing good for us. Maybe it'd be a good idea to rotate the rocket after we get done with this and also turn on the bits, the, uh, where is it, these? Yeah, and then turn the thrust on for all of them. Okay, good. And I can't tilt this anymore, so detach. Ooh, very good. Okay, those broke away nicely. Uh, oh, but they're colliding. And burn, very nice. Whoa, easy. Okay, thrust is enabled on these, right? Yeah, and whoa, easy, easy, easy. Okay, started to tilt a little too harshly that time. Where are we at? Okay, so if we can level this thing to the horizon, I have no idea if these tiny things are working, but we are able to tilt, which is a good thing. And then we can, whoa, forgot to not point the prograde. Okay. And then we can set up an orbit like this. I have no idea how we're doing, but I also don't want to leave my rocket too soon. Okay, that's working good. Just keeping an eye on the wheel here. Starting to go a little bit off, but we can fix it, I think. I think we're uh, we're not fixing it. Starting to lose the angle again. Okay, what was going on there? It's just sort of coasting. Let's get this thing pointed back towards prograde. That's looking better. And we can kind of just be gentle with the... Why is it going away again? You're supposed to point back towards prograde. See, look, I'm not even crazy. It's supposed to go back to prograde and then I burn. Okay, it's doing something good. Leveled it out along the equator, fine. And let's wait till we get closer to AP. And now if we can point back towards Apoapsis, ideally, instead of push it farther away. I would like to point prograde, thank you. I guess this thing really doesn't want to tilt. And I realize now it might be better to launch a satellite going that way so it can follow the sun. That's something else to think about too, is like geocentricity or whatever the thing is. Sun goes east to west, so it should be still this way, right? Well, anyway, time to burn. Okay and then that's a very low orbit let's let's just warp to here and then hopefully point back towards prograde something is very much wrong because i still don't have turning control on my rocket no matter what i do okay there we go do a quick little flick like that and then a flick and then a flick and whoa okay that was a weird thingy there that just happened with the camera but now our orbit's not looking too bad i'll get a satellite going over earth here and then i'll figure out how i can get one to mars and also when this rocket decides to turn back towards prograde just uh burn Ooh, that nailed it okay that's a lot more stable of an orbit it's very far out which is fine i think it actually might be too far out for a satellite so while we're here if we can get this thing pointed retrograde and get ourselves back around to here this is very annoying because i don't have fine control of the rocket like it just decides to be here and now it's doing anti-normal which i don't even know what that means i guess going that way oh and that changes the tilt of the orbit so how far would that tilt go oh very much around weird all right but let's fix this things. So here's what I'm thinking. This center rocket is unnecessarily big. Like once we get into space, we really don't need all that much thrust. So if we just separate this and then just get rid of this whole thing and bring in just some normal medium tubes, maybe that one would be good. At least for leveling out the orbit around Mars. Let's see, that one has pretty good thrust. This one has even better thrust. And then we have just one large tank to push us out of Earth's influence. Maybe something more manageable would be better like this one, but there's still the 
issue of it not rotating when I want it to. And I also like the idea of these tiny little thrusters here. So we can just make sure that these boosters separate properly by just placing them right on the middle side of things like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Just enough to do something and it should be good. So we're gonna see if a skinnier rocket gives us more control. Things are looking pretty good so far. Kind of wish I could get out of the third layer of atmosphere before these boosters were done. But then again, it's not too much of an issue. Okay, those are done. And then we separate and they fly away. Very cool looking. Uh, woo, we're starting to spin. Not too badly though. I'm able to fix rotating here. Uh, we're still on track though. And then boost. Okay, whoa, easy, easy does it. Easy does it. Still keeping on track for getting around this way. Okay, let's cut the burn right now. So how good is the control of this? Uh, not really there. I know there's something I'm missing here, but it seems like the other rockets, I could control them right now. Like sure, I can do a little bit of that. And now let's burn to increase our orbit potential, which climbs at a very nice rate. But I would also like to keep it like this. So we're constantly going up because our prograde was starting to go down. It's fine. Let's just secure an orbit here first. Ready? And almost circling around. Come on. Okay, no, again, enough. Because then we can just fast forward to the apoapsis. Make sure we're burning prograde. Very good. And there's periapsis. Now let's just get it out there. Nice. Okay. And then once we're over here, we can burn retrograde. But yes, we burn retrograde to bring the apoapsis in. Kind of like that. It's not a perfectly circular orbit, but we can work with it. Or, you know, we just bring it in a little more. Okay, that's pretty good. And good thing, too. That was pretty much all of the fuel we had left. Yep. There it is. Okay, so that decouples. And there's still this stage left, but it only has 3,000 units of fuel. So not a whole lot we could do with it. But then eventually we'll detach it. Ooh, after we disengage that and get the satellite off of it. Uh, that's a little whoops. Just get off of there. Get off of there. You're spinning like a top. Leave my satellite alone, you jerk. Deactivate. Okay, so now what sort of trajectory is our satellite on? Surprisingly still circular, but it's probably going to crash. <laughs> once it gets to periapsis. Kind of forgot to turn off the fuel there, but then once we get to this point, we can have this thing point radial in because this thing doesn't mind being twisted around. Yeah, like this. And then we tell the wings to expand. And they're not even wings. They're satellite solar panels. But then they just face the sun like this and it's beautiful. But right now, I kind of want to see what happens when this thing reaches periapsis because it's looking pretty small. Let's get around to here. There's a part that's permanently in orbit, which is kind of funny. Oh, yep. You can see it getting small because it's lower than 70,000 meters. Where's it gonna crash? Oh, yep. <laughs> it's just on a constant downward trajectory. So I guess one thing I forgot about is if we go into the tracking center, look at Duna, there should be a thing of how much fuel it takes to get here, I think. But it would be nice to get a satellite actually in orbit instead of crashing down to the planet. So let's do this one more time. And I think I was launching the wrong direction anyway. The sun comes up over there. So I think I should send a satellite in that direction to begin with. Although how exactly I'm supposed to get like geosync with the orbit is still a bit weird of a concept to me. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Just got to keep a nice healthy tilt like this. And this is going really good. It's almost like we're flying to the sun again. And then bye bye boosters. <laughs> it's so fun that they just go off on their own and those will crash down to earth eventually. But now we have to boost again. Whoa, easy does it. Easy does it. Okay, we're still going good. And I feel like that's a pretty good height for apoapsis. If I could pull up the number again. 90,000 meters, looks pretty good. Maybe we'll boost it to a nice clean 100. 99, eight, there it is, close enough. So now we do need to get this thing going this way. So please get a hold of yourself, lock it, and then burn to finish out the orbit. And now we can point a little more towards prograde because that'll make it grow faster. We're getting a little farther out than I wanted to, but that's okay. Just as long as we can get in orbit. Okay, and then, all right, 200,000 meters now on a satellite orbit. Seems a little big, especially for a satellite that's supposed to be for Wi-Fi, but we'll work with it. And it seems like a really weird place to put a maneuver plan, but we're gonna go with it anyway. So we burn a bit more prograde until it does that and extend the periapsis a bit more till it's nice and circular, which should be roughly when this thing starts moving like that. And it really doesn't take all that much Delta V, so that's good. Kind of really didn't need this last stage. Or what I can do is ditch this one right now so we can get a lot more fine adjustment with this one here. That should be good for us. All right. And we're actually able to turn this one towards the mission point without having to burn anything. So that's good. Very nice. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and burn. And there's a really quick burn. Stop. Okay. 
Did we do it? It's not quite where we want it to be. It's a little weird. That's fine though. We can just burn this a little more till it does one of these numbers. See, that's where it was supposed to end up, but I guess the mission timer didn't agree with that. But the good news is we're on a good path to follow this thing with a not exactly maximum amount of sunlight, but optimal or whatever that word means. We have a good coverage here. So now that we're in a nice stable orbit, we need to get rid of all these extra bits. At least I think our orbit's stable. Mm, periapsis is a bit low over here. Actually, the apo is a bit high. So let's do one of these numbers. We'll just slowly turn this thing retrograde. So it's a good thing I didn't get rid of this thruster. As wiggly as that little thruster is. And then we start to burn it to reduce apo to kind of that. It's hard to tell when it's a perfect circle. I think that does it. Just a quick little accidental burn and we're good so now to get rid of these bits let's point it radial out i think no radial in or which one is this this one's out this one's in okay i was getting them a bit confused but then if we do this and then detach everything flies away as it should and our satellite is left completely alone no accidental whoa <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later. Those fairings didn't want any more part of this. And that should fall nicely back to Earth. Yep, it's gonna land somewhere over there where I can't see it. But then this satellite needs to point radial in now. Extend these solar panels as well as this tiny little antenna, which I'm not sure how much purpose that's serving compared to the massive satellite dish. But really, we've done it. We've successfully put a satellite above Earth. And then that little bit just falls all the way down uh, over here into nighttime. But I would consider this mission a success. And I'd be really excited to do this to other planets like Mars or whatever they call it. So if you guys want to see that and you have ideas on how to get a tiny little rocket over there, then definitely let me know. So thank you everybody for watching and sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Calvin K, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Cowboy, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.